So we have to describe fully the single transformation that maps shape A onto shape B. And in this GCSE exam question, interestingly, there are actually two ways of performing a transformation that will get A onto B, that will map all the uh, vertices, in fact, the whole shape A onto B. And so I'm going to go through uh, both ways of answering this question. So two ways of answering this exam question. Let's have a quick look at the examiner's remarks. They say this question was a good discriminator. Uh, many partial answers were seen and some people didn't give a single transformation. They gave double transformations which wouldn't have got the mark. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at what we can eliminate. Well, we can eliminate, uh, I think, well, first of all, let's label it up. I, I, I think I'm jumping ahead a little bit there. Let's label this PQR. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that I can tell you exactly why I'm eliminating something. So PQR would translate, uh, would map onto the image here. So that must be P prime. Uh, Q prime must be this acute angle here and R prime must be over here. Okay. And the reason why I said we can immediately eliminate something is because I can see straight away that these vertices are in a an anti-clockwise direction. Now if these were all were in a, a clockwise direction, in other words if it was going PQR, then I would be thinking in terms of reflection. But because that's not the case, we can immediately eliminate reflection. Okay, that leaves us with translation, rotation or enlargement. Well, I can eliminate translation because the orientation isn't the same. So translation simply shifts uh, the plane, um, which means this object would be up the other way. So it certainly can't be translation either. Okay, so having eliminated those two, I'm left with two possibilities. It's either rotation or an enlargement or both. Now, we're going to start with rotation, so let's call this A, and then move on to enlargement, so rotation. So with rotation, we want to try, first of all, rotating about the origin because that's going to give us most options. And you can see if I, okay, if I draw a line from P to the origin like this, and then another line or vector from the origin to P prime, then um, the length of these vectors, if you like, the magnitude of these vectors are equal and we've got a rotation along a straight line, so it must be a rotation of 180 degrees. Now, um, I'm not going to go to the bother of looking at Q and R and Q prime and Q and R prime, but if it works for this, it should work for those as well, and then we can demonstrate this is definitely a rotation. But I just want to show you initially how I simply find out what the, uh, what the rotation is. Okay, so it's 180 degrees. In fact, why don't we just get our compasses out and draw, let's go clockwise, 180 degrees around so you can very clearly see uh, rotation um, 180 degrees. Oops. So 180 degrees um, about the origin. So zero, zero. Okay. Now we can also do this mathematically because if it is about the origin here, then we would expect the X coordinate of the image to be reversed. In other words, to be negative the X coordinate of the object. And similarly with the Y coordinate of image, again, it would change its sign. So negative Y coordinate of the object. So let's have a look and see if that is the case. So we've got P, uh, P is at negative two, negative two, negative two, negative two. So P prime 
p prime is at what? Well, positive 2, positive 2, which is exactly what we'd expect. All right. Q is at negative 4, uh, negative 5, negative 4. So Q prime should be at positive 5, uh, positive 4. Okay, let's see if it is. So Q prime is at 5, 4. And let's check R as well. So we've got R prime should be, or R is at negative 1, negative 4. So R prime should be at 1, 4. And we can see that all of these are correct. So we've definitely got a rotation of 180 degrees about the origin. Now let's go for enlargement. Okay. So first of all, let's erase these marks here. And the enlargement, again, would have to be about the origin. And I can demonstrate that, once again, by drawing up to the origin, but I'll draw through now. So I'm looking at how P maps onto P prime through an enlargement. So if I draw a line from P to P prime, draw a line from Q to Q prime, and from R to R prime, you can see very clearly that the centre of enlargement is at the origin. So enlargement, um, center, zero, zero. And we can say that it has a scale factor because it's clearly the same size. So we've got a scale factor of negative one. And finally, then, let's check. So in an enlargement, the x of the, the x component of the image should be the scale factor, so negative 1, times the x coordinate of the object. The y coordinate of the image should be the scale factor, negative 1, times the y coordinate of the object, so negative y coordinate of the object. In other words, as we've already proved, this must be correct. So here's an alternative solution for mapping A, shape A, onto shape B. Okay?